Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Pryoxis, man, and I'm back with another video. I see I'm going against this guy. I think this guy is actually good. The ping is a bit high. I mean, really, any ping over 100 is high. Any ping under 100 is high as well. As long If a ping is higher, listen, listen, I need y'all to hear me out. Before you hear me out, hit the like button. I need y'all to really hear me out. Let me listen to Ghost by Youngboy. If you guys, oh, we're playing Dino. I think this is Dino. But if you guys play video games and you actually like play it from a competitive standpoint, ping is essential. And 40 ping is high, especially for certain, uh, I don't think this is Dino. This is, uh, actually this is Dino. No. This is, uh, I can't think of his name. This is going to be a fun match. If you guys actually know ping, man, you would know 40 ping is high. Like some games, like uh, one for example, League of Legends, 40 ping is high. Okay. This match right here is going to be a treat. I'm not going to lie to y'all. This is going to be a treat. This is going to definitely be a treat. We're going to play it slow. We're definitely going to take this slow. I don't know if you guys know. Uh, if you watch my video where I said the best fight in ESports UFC 4, I was actually playing against it. I can't, it's not Dino. It's, uh, I'm literally disrespecting this man by not thinking of his name. It's Spider. That's who it is. It's Spider. I have to think. Of, it's Spider. He's a real good Izzy player. Okay. He tried to hit me with the with my combo. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little bit quiet in this one, man. I got to lock in versus Dino. He's a real. I mean, not Dino. Spider. He's a real good player. Also, he's not even good in just UFC. The man's a demon in fight night as well. So that just tells me he really does his game himself, man. Oh, that was a good fake. That was a real good fake. Oh, I slipped that. Okay. Oh, that's bad. That was a good rock for me. That was a real good rock for me to the body. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. He got a rock with the head. I got a rock to the body. Look at that. 36 to 38. He had one more significant strike. He had two more strikes landed in me. I tell y'all, man, this is going to be a treat. This is definitely going to be a treat. Okay. Try to sneak in those three body hooks. Okay. I think he bowed because he tried to throw a front kick there. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. 
Oh, that was a good uppercut. I'm sorry for the commentary, guys. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I gotta lock in when I play uh, real good players. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We get the drop right there. a good match we got the drop we pay attention my head health ain't good See if we can catch one with this. Nope. That was a good round. That was a hell of a good round. That was a hell of a good round for us. We got a, a drop with that overhand. And again, I look at this is this is razor close. Without that knockdown, it's literally like round the last round. I landed one more than him. Uh, oh, total strikes and one more significant strike. Last round, he landed one more total, uh, significant two more totals, I believe so, or it was two for both. Let's see if we can catch with a high kick. There we go. Trying to catch him with the high kicks because I know I've been working the body a little bit. Oh, he rocked me. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's using a little bit of stamina, though. Oh, damn. I thought I, thought I had the advantage there. Oh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> that was fucking clean. Oh my goodness, the timing was crazy. The timing was crazy. He threw a lead overhand, I threw the high kick and I dropped him. Oh my goodness.
Oh my goodness, that I was That was good. That was good. That was good. That fight literally could have went either way. That fight literally could have went either way. GG's for sure. Damn, that was a hell of a fight. Look at that, man. What, six, seven strikes? Seven strikes was the difference total. And um, one significant strike, he had more than me. I had a knockdown. I had two rocks to the head, two rocks to the body. He had four rocks to the head. And let's see, two judges had me winning both rounds. Surprisingly, I don't, I don't know. I thought I lost round one. It must, they must have weighed that body hook, that body rock more than that head rock. I don't know. That was weird. But all right, guys, I'm gonna try to get in another fight on ranked. If I can't, I'll do a quick match. But uh, we'll try to get another one in. I hope you guys enjoyed this fight as much as I did doing it. And uh, we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. A Cheeto Vera player. Cheeto Vera. It's a hundred foul, let that mind flow, I'm about to fall, oh, oh. Kevin Holler came out to that song, it got smoked, man. <laughs> oh, man, let's get it, Cheeto. We checked that one. He just hook kicked me. Woo. Okay. Just trying to pay attention to what he doing. And then work from there. I can see he wanted to kick my legs. Okay. So his style is mixing me up, going up top with the uh that hook kick or maybe a strike up top. Let's spin him around. We're going to look to work his legs as well. We checked that one. We checked that one again. So that rear leg is screwed. Now, he has to change his whole game plan. That was a nice check. Now, I'm not even going to kick his legs anymore because that wasn't my game plan. But I did just negate his by a bit. Especially, I got like I, four checks. Five in your leg is screwed. So I know his leg is hurting on top of that. Okay. So we're just going to work the body. It's a five round fight. And this would be a good video, uh, a good fight. When you're playing someone playing on the outside, what you do against those type of players. Why is my alarm going off at nine? I don't know why. But, okay. When you're playing someone that is on the back foot, you play patient. You remember that you have the advantage because you're the one that's controlling the distance. You don't have to engage. He's consistently backing up. I don't have to engage him. I engage him when I want to, right? Boom, I want to engage him. Now, I'm going to back up. He had a front kick. Cool. But for the most part, his hands are up blocking. So, that means he's moving slower than me because my block is down. Again, if you guys did not know, if you're holding block, your fighter actually moves around slower. And he's doing a lot of movement right now, circling. And I'm just sitting here watching him. I'm just sitting here watching him. Okay. Now, what makes this part of UFC 4 hard when you're fighting somebody like this is, one, their defense. Two, is going to be, um, if you're using somebody that is a pure boxer, it's hard to play people like this, especially if they have decent footwork. Because you're chasing them with punches versus you can just, you know, throw a kick from a, a good amount of range. You Basically, it's a range game. So... Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attack his legs Just to open up, you know strikes up top 
but I'm not going to consistently be in his face to give him the opportunity to land on me. Like, I'll be from at range from here. Or you could start backing up on those guys because a lot of guys that consistently back up, they're not really that great when it comes to fighting on the, uh, when it comes to, you know, how to apply proper pressure. Okay, so I do notice he's throwing, um, kick the leg. I do notice he's throwing those kicks to the body to basically push me back. Like that right there. I'm just going to walk him towards the cage and then spin an elbow so he can be near the cage. Okay. Kick the leg. That was a nice check. I'm going to back up. He's probably going to throw something out in the middle to push me back. Or he can going to throw a high kick because he, uh, there it goes. Because he's been thinking about, um, you know, he's been, has me thinking about the kicks to the legs and the little kicks to the body. See right there? That tells me he's uncomfortable with the range because he's consistently trying to push me back. Okay. He's probably looking for the low kick. Okay, we go high. He blocks it. Goes a knee again. We're gonna attack the legs. When you play people like this, the worst thing you can do is get frustrated, right? You're gonna have your opportunity. I'm gonna kick his leg there because I put a lot of pressure on his head health. Okay, we can attack the leg again. Cause we pressure the block and his stamina, and then we can pressure him again. He checks that one, and that probably was not the smartest thing to do. He made a mistake. I'm gonna attack his body. That was a little a little bit too predictable with the low kick. So I probably should have went up top there because I set him up with the last opportunity that I had to uh attack the leg. Alright, and he's back on the back foot. Now we're gonna use our feints. Pay attention to his block, what he's doing. The block is going low. He has those right there. Boom, he blocks high. I'm gonna back up. Attacks my leg. Now, he is landing these low kicks, but I don't think there is they are what gonna win him to fight. Honestly, I don't think these low kicks are gonna win him to fight. I mean, he's landing them, he's doing work with them, but for the most part, I think him kicking me in my head is much more risky than my legs right now. Cause one good check, if I check one kick, his leg is rocked. All right, here we go. Stamina full, head health good, legs are fine, body is perfect. We catch the kick. Now, I just want to walk him towards the cage. All right. We're trading a little bit. I'm Song Gidong. I have much more power than Cheeto Vera. Okay. And I'm okay with what just happened. Now I'm trolling. Okay. Nice hook kick. Nice low kick. Another low kick there. Now he's playing smart. Don't get me wrong. He's playing on a smart on the back foot. And it can be frustrating. It can be very frustrating playing these type of players that just want to play on the back foot. And just, you know, try to make you chase them. But if you play patient, you can beat them. He's blocking low. He thinks I'm gonna throw a low kick. I made a mistake there. I threw when I didn't need to throw. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. So I know right now my opportunity to to land a good shot on him. Is with a high kick because after he retreats, he usually blocks low, thinking I'm gonna go to his leg. Okay. 
He do a nice combination there. Try to go high kick. Go to his leg. Go to top. He switches legs for some reason. I don't really know why he just switched legs. I mean, this leg is worse than the other one. Okay. Nope. Nice low kick. We check that one. Block that. Kick the leg. Oh, nice high kick. Okay. Oh, I made a mistake. Now he's aggressive, right? This so we can take advantage of him. Now he's back to being defensive. We're going to attack the body because he overthrew there. Now notice how the mistakes that I made, the mistakes that I made in round two and round three are why I'm at this, in this situation here. If I continue playing patient, I'll be fine. But I kind of made harsh mistakes, and now look at my head health. And this is the result when you're playing somebody on the back foot and you're not, you're being a little bit too aggressive or you're making just a lot of mistakes. Okay. We're gonna attack the body. Because we know stamina is key. This guy is doing good though. I will, I will definitely give him his credit. Okay. Finish, finish. Now I'm switching to a body attack because I know body is key. But kicking their legs is essential. And I don't want to tell you guys, oh, kick their body. Because when you kick their body and they come forward with a combination, you're going to get smacked with it. Body, body. There we go with the rock up top. Back to the body. Now. Now we we open up different windows. Notice how now he's going trying to catch him with the uppercut. Opens up more opportunities for us. Because now he's worried about the body. Now, even when he throws, another opportunity that opens up is when he throws strikes. We're going to to the body. Now, when he throws and he leaves himself open, I'm not going to throw any strikes. I don't want to get rocked. Okay. But as I was saying, basically when he throws... Now he risks me coming back with something else, either up top or to the body. But notice how he's blocking my low kicks. Let's get out of the pocket. And that's the result to me if I'm uh if I am on the uh if I'm pressuring, I can just back up. We drop him here. I'm ducking the kick. We're gonna go two to the head. Then a punch at the end. We rock him. We're going to watch him. Go to the body. Okay, cool. Go to the body again. He blocks it. Cool. All right. Pressure with the jab a little bit. Go to the body. Go up top. Good night. No? All right. All right, that goes round four. Now you can see how when you when I change from attacking his legs to attacking his body, how 
the dynamic of the fight changed. <clears throat> And he's just allowing me to land a lot of these body strikes now. And when you get them early body rocks and them body drops, and you really hurt the body, man, it, it's, it can really play a big factor in a fight. Now, he's still kicking my leg. He got to be careful, though. My leg is fucked. I think a high kick will do, do me wonders right now. Oh, never mind. Uh-oh. All right, so we get dropped. He did counter the high kick really well. But I know I can get a drop back because his stamina is screwed. See right there? Now he's gassed. We got three minutes to get a rock. I mean, get up. Really, we don't even need a rock. We just need to do more damage. Oh, he rocked me. Okay. Go to the body. Go to the body. Body, body. We rock him up top. Body, body. Go to the body again. Too, bro. But notice how since that rock at the beginning. Alright, so every time he gets ah, my voice is great. Every time he gets rocked, he ducks. So oh my goodness. If we can rock him. Oh, he's trying to wrestle now. Well, if we rock him to the body, he ducks every time. So we're gonna throw an uppercut. Nope, he don't duck that time. Drop him to the body. There goes the drop. Back to the body. We drop him again. Switch kick. Probably going to jump on this guy. Okay. Oh, he dropped me. Oh, he, he jumped on me. All right. That's the end of the fight. I probably could have jumped on him, but I didn't want to jump on him. I mean, I can see he, he wanted to jump on me. I believe I won the fight, but we'll have to see. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So that was my dub. Hey, man. Why, hey, with all due respect, why you jumping me, though, bro? Come on, man. We, we, I didn't jump on you. I was going to jump on you at the end because I knew if you knocked me down, you was going to jump on me. But all in all, GG's, man. It was a very close fight, just like the last one. We did win 49-46, though, but it was definitely a close fight. And that's why working the body is essential, man. That lead roundhouse is your friend. The lead hook to your body, to the body is your friend. The cross is your friend. Uh, the rear uppercut followed by the lead hook is your friend. Let's check these rounds out, man. I, I'd say maybe this one is his round two. I guess that gave me round two. Yeah, I had more significant strikes. Okay, round three. Um, Maybe they gave me round one as well because I got a leg health event. Maybe they gave me round one. They gave uh, me round two. They gave him round three because of knockdown. They gave me round four, and I definitely won round five. I guess so. I guess that's what happened, but hey. All in all, GG's, uh, respect to both opponents, man. It was This actually was a hell of a good video. Uh, two fights I think you guys didn't genuinely, genuinely enjoy. It also, it was a bit longer video, so all you guys out there that like my longer videos, you will enjoy this one. But with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Don't forget to hit the like button if you guys haven't already. Be sure to subscribe up and turn the notifications, man. Y'all stay up, stay blessed, and don't forget to keep moving forward, all right? Love you guys, man. See you.